Ain't nobody clicked on here yet. What's up, everybody? Late night sports talk with your boy Ricky G. We're going to talk about, I'm waiting for everybody to come on. We're going to talk about some uh, NFL free agency, NBA, best players in the league. Welcome, welcome. Put God first. Late night sports talk with Ricky G. Welcome, welcome. Late night sports talk with your boy Ricky G. What up, nephew? What up, step? What's up? What up, step on? What up, everybody? Come on in. Come on in. What's up, my girl Tracy? Yeah. How you been? God is good. Put God first. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about best players in the league, NBA playoffs. I'm waiting for some more people to get on here. But we talking NBA playoffs. What do every team need in the NBA? What's the next piece to put each team over the top? Y'all let me know. What is the next piece that all teams need in free agency? And we're going to also talk NFL free agency. But uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show where we talk all sports on here. Not just one, one genre of sports, but we talk everything from high school. I keep you posting on live interviews that I do personally with kids. And I share their information to get them noticed. Uh, I got shirts coming that y'all can purchase. Y'all can share with my show name, uh, Sports Talk Live with your boy Ricky G. That's coming soon. All oh, that's coming. What up, Stefan? What up? Yes, yes. What's going on? God is good. What up, K? What up, K? Hey, K, let's get it jumping. Hey, man, what? Tell me, what piece does every team need to put them over the top in the NBA? What's the next piece that saved the Lakers, for, for example? What do the Lakers need to go along with LeBron now? Oh, the Hornets, that's good. Yes, the Hornets got a great nucleus with Miles Bridges. The boy LaMelo Ball is, 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 is run away right now, R-O-T. R-O-T-Y, Rookie of the Year. R-O-T-Y, Rookie of the Year front runner, LaMelo Ball, big time. Going to draw fans in. The buzz is back in Charlotte. I love that. Um, so what's the next piece, nephew? What's the next piece do you think that Charlotte need to put them over the top? What do they, can they add? Because you got Miles Bridges, P.J. Washington, Malik Monk. I love Malik Monk. Um, Devontae Graham. Do, do they need to make a trade? Do, uh, or do they need to get something in free agency? Y'all let me know. Let me know what you think. Okay, it's all right there. There we go. All T Y. Rookie of the okay. year. All T Y. Yes, sir. But uh Definitely, though. Definitely. What's the next piece? We're going to also talk NFL. We're going to also be talking NFL free agency. NFL free agency kicked off today. It was a couple of moves made. The Panthers made. Uh, it was a couple of moves that was made. Uh, a couple of signings. No big time signings. But we're going to be talking. In, in, yes. You just hit it on the head. Center. They need a center. That is exactly right. They need a center. Uh. Al from my buddy from from we way back like four flat tires. What's going on, from? What's going on? Let me see what you're saying. Let me slide up a little bit. I can look at it on my other device, but which I got down here. But I'm, I'm just gonna look up right. He scrolls up on his own. Oh, you see me? Oh, you going to the airport? Okay, bro. I would like to see you. Okay. That's what's going on. That's what's good, man. I hope all, everything is blessed for you. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I probably was out there. You might have seen me with my dog. 
a, a couple of my, uh, I probably had more than one dog out, but, um, oh, Venetunas. You said Venetunas. Yes, that would be a big, but what would you give up to get Venetunas? That's what I want to know. Levy, what would you give up to get Venetunas? He would be, he, I think Venetunas in Charlotte, he's an all-star, can step out. Uh, I think he would put them to the next level. I know for a fact, as much sports as I've been around and covering, I think Venetunas would put Charlotte Hornets as a top four seed. They would be competing in the East. I don't think they would they would be on the uh, championship level, but they would be competing in the East. That's a very good good observation. Which, but what, who would you give up? What would you give up to get them? Would you uh, who would you part ways with? What's going on, bro? Yes, sir. What's going on? We got Coach Miller on here. Yeah. Hey, man, we just kicked it off talking about uh, what do all NBA teams, what's the next piece that all NBA teams need to put them over the top, to put them over the top, okay? Okay, my boy K always got good insight. Okay, shooting that wheel open. Okay, easy scoring and, and okay, trips to the free throw. Okay, I also need some good, good role players. Yeah, you always gotta have good role players. Always good role players. It's all good. You're not really late. We just we just got it cracking just now. Um, yeah, yeah. Your, your bench. That's that's very key. Your bench has got to be. I think the Hornets have a good nucleus bench, but you got to have a good bench. If you look at all the team depth, depth is very important. Because you can have an awesome starting five. I think that did the Clippers in last year. You can have an awesome starting five, and then your your depth is, is, is you know what I'm saying, your depth is not good. So those guys have got to be able to continue and keep it rolling off the bench. That's a very good observation. Because if you don't got depth, man, you're not, you're not going to really go anywhere. I, I like that. But I think Stephon hit it perfectly. The Hornets, for example, we talking Charlotte, a center, a true big man, is what they really need. I think that will put them and make them a legitimate contender in the East. I don't know about coming out all the way. But we're going to also talk football after we talk. Because you know that NFL free agency done started. So we're going to talk what do some NFL teams need, too, to put them over the top. This is good stuff, man. You can't get this nowhere else. Uh, Sports Talk Live with your boy Ricky G, you know. You know, I get it's true. It's true, real people, true, real sports heads that come on here that really know the know the ins and outs of sports. That's what I love. That's exactly what I love. But uh, we can talk. I, I I think like a team like L.A. for for example, because I know LeBron James them are, uh, are looking to add pieces. Uh, a lot of teams probably gonna be sellers. I mean, they're gonna be sellers instead of buyers. Uh, the 25th is the deadline. 25th of March is your deadline. So what what we got? A week, a week and a half or so before the deadline. Teams are going. It's going to be some moves made, but I, I believe with this COVID, it won't be as much. It won't be as much. My brother, my brother from another mother. Welcome to the late night sports talk with your boy Ricky G, my boy Galloway. You know we go way back. Blood don't make you brothers, but you already know. You already know, JG, what's going on, man? Hope everything good. You blessed, man. Welcome to the show, man. We talking about what pieces the segment is, what pieces do teams need in the NBA to put them over the top. Like the Hornets, for example, we talk, We started out talking about the Hornets, and Stephon said uh, that the Hornets need a center, which is a good observation. That's a good observation. A center will put them over the top. With the young talent that we have in Charlotte, I believe that the buzz is back. The buzz is, is, is back in shock. So, um, but the Lakers, for example, what did like a team like the Lakers, what do y'all think they need? Because uh, LeBron James is going to be trying to add piece to, uh, pieces to that team. The way it's com compacted now, the way it's constructed, you know what I'm saying? I think they, they, need, they, they need another piece to put them over the top to, to make it. What up, JG? What up, man? It's all good. Yes, sir. I'm glad that you good, my brother. Hey, we, hey, welcome to the show, bro. Welcome to the show. Everybody that's on here, I enjoy y'all being on here. I got shirts coming, more interviews and events that I'm going to be out to live. I'm going to be out at, 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 at in Rock Hill, South Carolina this, this weekend interviewing 
uh, a big event going down with some AU ball, interviewing some kids live on site. My shirts, y'all can purchase my shirts. I'm going to have my shirts up. Support the show. I'm going to have my shirts up that you can, you can purchase. That's coming. That's coming a little later when I'm going to have my shirts. That's uh, Sports Talk Live with Ricky G. You know, I'm going to have the shirts out. So, a lot, and a lot of more things we're going to have. Then I'm later on, I'm going to get to where I'm going to be doing prizes and cash apps for some different stuff that I'm going to have going on. But uh, I'm enjoying everybody. But we talking NBA right now. We talking NBA. We talking NBA free agency right now. What do teams need? Yeah, we're talking. And then we're going to talk some NFL too. Let me adjust my camera a little bit here. Get that with the real good shot right there. Yeah, I think that's better right there. But welcome to welcome to Sports Talk Live with your boy Ricky G. But uh, like I said, man, we talk. Y'all let me know now. I I see some people on here commenting pretty good, but we need. I want to know what team, what pieces do teams need to put them over the top this NBA season for this championship run, this second half of the season with this playoff push. Who do you think, what teams do you think would be buyers? Will go out and add pieces. You can't get this nowhere else. Trade deadline March 25th, man. March 25th, a week and a week and a half away. The trade deadline is approaching. The trade deadline is approaching. So I I, I really think front runners right now, Brooklyn Nets have made moves, bringing in James Harden, that's a big piece. Those three are really gonna be hard. They brought in Blake Griffin. Down, you know, Blake Griffin ain't got to do as much. Not the same players in the past don't need to be. Don't need to be. Blake, uh, on that team, that team is, is, is capable of winning it all. When you got a Kyrie Irving, you got a James Harden, bro, you got um, you, you got um, KD. Uh, those three are the best players in the game. Then you add Blake Griffin. Uh, my goodness, DeAndre Jordan. I really can't see nobody stopping those guys in the East. They committed to win it. To me, it's championship or bust. Um, but, you know, Philadelphia's been surprised with Joel Embiid. He's been the MVP so far to me this year. Um, not just Embiid, but, you know, Ben Simmons. They added shooting. Uh, so Philadelphia is a team, I think, maybe the only team I could see really competing on that level with, with Brooklyn. What y'all think? Now, let me hear y'all in the comments. What's going on, my other brother from another mother? What's going on, B? Y'all already know. We're going to get into that, too, talking to live. You got Coach B on here. Uh, yes, sir. You got, we know, doing his thing. My man, we, I mean, we started together. Semi-pro. Y'all don't know that we owned our own team. We played that. We played on that gridiron together. Both of us did. We, 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 we done did some things, you know. But he, he done expanded and took it to another level in coaching. But A hey, hey, B man, appreciate you tuning in to the show right now. We talking what pieces do teams need to add before the March twenty fifth deadline to their team for a championship run in the NBA? This is a great segment. Let me know what y'all think. What teams need to add pieces to become contenders, championship contenders? Deadline is March twenty fifth. So what do y'all think? Who need to add a piece and what piece? Do they need to add? Like we talked Charlotte Hornets earlier. I love the nucleus of the Hornets. LaMelo Ball to me is rookie of the year right now, runaway. Uh, bro, I think he's runaway rookie of the year. What's going on, my girl Samantha? Hope everything is good with you. Hey, I seen you earlier. <laughs> Welcome to my show, Samantha. Welcome to the show. Sports Talk Live with your boy Ricky G. Like I told everybody, I got shirts coming. I got interviews coming with kids and events that I'm gonna be at, you know. So, uh, man, it's all it's all good. It's all love. Uh, oh, you just got back from practice. What y'all looking like? We gonna get? I'm gonna get you on a personal interview, man. I sit down one on one, so I can I can I can share that everywhere too. So I can pick your brain on the insight of this 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 season. What y'all looking like? Put that in the comments right there for everybody to see. So what? tell about your team. Put down in the comments who you coach for. Most people know. But put down in the comments, B, Coach B, or who you coach for. 
and what y'all have been and so far what y'all have accomplished this year and what do y'all think y'all need to add uh you know but just put a brief little summary down in there uh a plug down in there of, of about your team and and where you where you where you at and what's your the team that you coach for put that down there you know it's all love on here but uh we talking NFL free agency too so y'all can chime in right now about the NFL free agency too what teams do you think will be competing so free agency kicked off today what teams do you think will be competing this year for a Super Bowl I'm still rooting my Cowboys all the way. I got to throw that in there. Dak is back. I just hope he holds up healthy. We looking strong on the offense. We got a lot of weapons. Uh, my goodness. I think only thing we need some depth on the old line and maybe some secondary help. We need to pick up another safety and a good corner on the other side. Because we got Diggs last year. That's a good insight. Diggs last year was the Steels, uh, Trev Trevon Diggs from Alabama, his brother. Of course, everybody knows his brother, Stephon Diggs, with Buffalo. So the Horn, I mean, uh, I mean, we looking pretty good in, in, as a Cowboy fan. Injury set us back. I know for a fact we would have made the playoffs. That's just a fact. Surprise, my boy, my Mr. Sherman, Mr. Sherman Black ain't on here with his inside. Y'all might see my pups running across here. Uh... Uh, they they very active, but uh, um, yeah, we talking all sports on here though, man. But like I say, I want to see it scroll up, Coach B. Uh, you say you went to practice, man. What y'all looking like? What y'all looking like out there on the field? And uh, you know, let everybody know who you coach for. And uh, you know, welcome to welcome to Sports Talk Live with your boy Ricky G. We talking all sports, all things sports, putting God first and. You know, this is the only real show where real heads come on here and talk real sports. What's going on, Corey? Welcome to the show, bro. Welcome back on the show, bro. We talking. Let me get you caught up. We are, because this is going to be played back. That's why I love this. What's going on, bro? It's, it's all good, man. It's all good, bro. Yes, sir, my brother. I know you win, bro. Hey, we talking to get you caught up, though, bro. We talking. We started the segment off talking about what teams need pieces by the, the trade deadline is March 25th get everybody up to date NBA trade deadline what teams will be buyers what teams will be sellers Corey what do you need what 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 team you think is uh what team do you think is close and what pieces do they need to make a championship run what teams what pieces do teams need to add during this trade deadline to make a tramp championship run? Okay, B, you say, Coach B say, oh, y'all see that. He coached for Ragsdale. They lost two. Had, they got a tough schedule. Yes, sir. I know, I know that's right. Okay, y'all lost to David County and Reesville. Reesville was in the championship, right? That's a powerhouse. Okay. Both undefeated. Oh, y'all got Greensboro Page Friday. Well, no, you ain't lying. Y'all schedule us up there. Hey, it's all good. Do you think y'all going to make the playoffs, though? Do you think y'all will be in the playoffs? I'm going to ask you that question right now. And K, K Meadow say Patriots all day. I know you're a Patriots fan, bro. Y'all got a – that's a nice piece y'all added with that tight end out from the Chargers. Yes, sir. You think – you know I'm up on it all. That's a nice piece that y'all – it's about time they get – I like the signing of Cam Newton. I like giving Cam Newton another contract, man, because he had, didn't have no weapons around him. People that don't know the game, and actually he did a pretty good job. He had a decent year. But Cam Newton didn't have any weapons around him. So we cannot look at that year. When you add some pieces like free agency, draft, the tight end is a star. Then we can judge and see where Cam is at. You got to surround the guy with talent, weapons, to get it done. Okay, a lot of speed. Okay, you say y'all got a lot of speed. Offensive line is very solid. The game is won in the trenches, and y'all got great coaches. Hey, brother, the game is won in the in the trenches. You know what I'm saying? So, right. Oh, you say the Jazz need a center. Hey, bro, you say that. Y'all got Rudy Gobert. I can't say that now. Corey, come on, bro. I got to check you on that one. The Jazz got one of the best, most underrated centers in the game. Bro, you, you, you slipping right there. 
I see my, my coach, Coach Miller, agree with me. The game is won in the trenches. That's a fact. Without line play, I don't care what kind of – I've been coaching long enough to know you can have all the skill players in the world. But if you can't pass protect, block protect, at the point of attack, you won't get nowhere. You got to be able to get pressure. You got to be able to get pressure. It's three phases of the game you got to be able to win. Field position, the line of scrimmage, and the special teams. I've been coaching for a long time. We got legendary Paris Sutton on here. Y'all know Paris Sutton do big things. What's going on, coach? Now, that's the man there, a great man in the community. Good that Demons program is a beast down there in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Welcome to my show, Late Night Sports Talk with Ricky G. We talking free agency. What do teams need to put them over the top? Who are going to be championship contender teams this year? This is a great show where we enlighten you on here. Um... It's a lot of people with knowledge of, the, knowledge of the sport in general. We got all genre of sports. We don't just talk one thing. Okay, Corey, you say, you say Rudy Gobert don't bring it every night. Bro, I, I don't know. I think Rudy Gobert is underrated. See, that's what we, we agree to disagree right there because you say the Jazz need a center, but Gobert has been an all-star. Look at it this way. Uh, Gobert has probably been defensive player of the year two years in a row. Now, you're probably looking at it like offensive-wise, he's not as skilled as a Joel Embiid. You know what I'm saying? I, I got you. I feel you right there. I feel you right there. He, he's not as offensive as a Joel Embiid on a joke out in Denver. But you got to be able to rebound. As far as basketball, you got to be able to rebound, and you got to be able to rim protect. So defense, because the game slowed down in the playoffs. The Jazz are a surprise team right there. I, you know, you know. But that's why I love this show, man. We had these debates and we had this good com this good dialect, this good conversation. But uh back to football, briefly, I'm gonna say the, the game is one on the line of scrimmage, man. You can have all the skills. It's good. I like to load up with skill positions and guys that can stretch the field. I love guys that can get me yak. Y'all's after y'all's after the catch. You know, I can throw just guy, I like to get guys in space that can make people miss, but none of that can occur and take place if we can't if we can't come, we can't protect from the point of attack. If I can't protect uh, on the other side and I can't get pressure from the other side, that line of scrimmage, the, these linemen is where it's at. People like little league kids don't really want to play the line, but the line, man, the line is where it's at. Yeah, he do play good D. That's why I had to enlighten you right there, bro. He do play good D. Yeah, he do play good D. Welcome, Miss Lucas Melody. Welcome to Sports Talk Live with your boy Ricky G. Put God first. You know we talk all sports on here. My niece, my niece. Uh, you know we we. This is this is this, I, this grace of God. This is a very good show, man, because we cover it all on here. And like I say, I got shirts coming. I got shirts coming, man. Y'all can purchase. It's coming a little later in a week or so. Sports Talk Live. I'm going to have the shirt printed up so everybody can see. But uh, I got shirts. I got shirts coming. I got other memorabilia. And I got other stuff. I'm going to be giving away cash prizes on my show. Like, I'm going to be going back to trivia, and I'm going to cash out the winners. I'm going to be giving away some prizes a little later on. But uh, we do a big on here. It's a growing process, but uh, it's, it's, we talk all sports on here, man. Okay, Coach B, you just said, okay, your battery nine. Okay, I feel you, bro. It's good to have you on, man. Y'all check out Coach B and Ragsdale doing big things. That's my man. We started out coaching together. You say you, you think Utah needs – to complement with with solid forwards. Now that now I'm a more agreement with that. They need some wing guys that can scratch the floor, that can shoot. Right, right. I, I we 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 on the same page. Cause Donovan Mitchell, you need another star alongside Donovan Mitchell. Somebody that can put the ball in the basket. Uh, bro, Coach Miller, my bro, he say. Right, right. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. That's real. Yep. You're right about that. Man, you got to be, hey, bro, you know, you've been coaching a long time. You know, Coach Miller been coaching a long time, too, just like me, man. Um, we know you got to be able to protect. Without the line of scrimmage, nothing, nothing is, you're not going to accomplish nothing without people that can that can protect and get pressure from the other side. 
both line of scrimmage is where the game is won. I love to have all the skill I can have, but I got to be able to have show up my line first. Right, you got to have an O-line and D-line, bro. You already know. You already know. That's facts. Hey, but what y'all think about the NFL and the free agency of the NFL? What teams do y'all think going to make noise this year? I ain't even touched on March Madness, bro. You know March Madness is the best thing going. It's nothing better than March Madness. Y'all let me know who y'all picks in Mar Madness. What's y'all college team? Who y'all rolling with? I think Gonzaga. I think God, I'm a UNC Tar Heel, but let me say this right here. I think Gonzaga gonna win it all. So no team really goes undefeated, but I think this is the year of the Zags. This is the year of the Zags because they got veteran leadership. They got good young talent. They got a good mix. They got it all. And I think Gonzaga will go undefeated and cut down the nets. I, they're going to be very hard to beat. They will be very hard to beat this year. Um, I haven't even filled out no brackets yet. Usually I'm filling out, bro. I'm filling out like 10 brackets every year. I did pretty good actually last year, man. I was up in the top, the top 80 percentile. Yeah, Georgetown is a sleeper. Why are you on your stuff? They were talking about that. Yeah, I, see, I watched them play. Shout out to uh, Patrick Ewan, the only man to win conference championship. Let me let me give y'all. See, you get this on this on this show. You get you get information. Patrick Ewan won the championship as a as a as a player at Georgetown, and now he won his conference championship as a coach at Georgetown. Wow, black power, brother. Black coach. Let me let me let me say that again for y'all. He won the championship when he played at Georgetown under John Thompson, the late John Thompson, rest in peace. And he won the championship, this Big East tournament, tournament champs as a coach. Woo! Boy, y'all see that info I just threw out there? Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at that info I just threw out there. But, uh, yeah, Georgetown is a sleeper, bro. They're going to make some noise. Uh, it's a lot. I, like I said, I ain't feeling out my bragging. I'm just saying Gonzaga look like. It's going to take a lot to beat Gonzaga. I like. I also think, you know, I'm an ACC guy. I think the ACC, which was down this year, we did put seven teams in the tournament. I think the ACC is really going to wake up in this tournament. You at least going to have, you heard it here first, you will at least have four teams out of the ACC in the, in the, uh, in the Sweet 16. I can, I, can, I, can, I can pretty much guarantee you, if I'm a betting man, the ACC will have... Wait a minute, y'all. ACC will have four teams. Yes, four teams at least make it to the Sweet 16. North Carolina is a sleeper team, too. It's not, it really not the same. with the, Even though I'm not a Duke fan, with Duke not making uh, making the tournament, it's kind of, yeah, you know, that's 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 kind of, that's something right there. But, but, Corey, you say you don't know about what teams in the NFL you think. Man, I think, uh, me personally, I think, uh, I got to see how free agency shake out. You know what I'm saying? I got to see, uh, Tampa Bay got that. Well, Tampa Bay going to lose a lot of players because of the cap. Uh, let me throw that out there for you, too. Uh, 40 Niners was hurt. San Francisco was hurt. I think they're going to make noise. They'll come back healthy. Um, it's a lot of teams, man. Bro, you say, yes, Jamal Howard. There you go, Michigan. They're number one seed. Black coach doing his thing. Bro, you see it there. My boy dropping dollar to him, y'all. Okay, you say. You don't think they're going too far? I, I, I kind of don't think they're going that far in the bracket either, but I, I, I mean, but for what he's accomplished, it's big time. What he has accomplished is big time. Um, you know, black coach like that played at, the, played at his alma mater. You know, they've been relevant for the last couple of years. They've been they've been making noise in the tournament. Uh it's, it's big, man. He matter of fact, let me throw some more knowledge out here. You won't get on another show. Ja Jawan Howard won coach of the national coach of the year this year. Look it up. Jawan Howard was national coach of the year this year. More black, that's more show you what our people are doing. Breaking down barriers, buddy. 
Yes, sir. Coach of the year. Black coach. Play, took his team. You see, he got his team up at the top. You know, that, that is number one seed in the tournament. This is a this is a guy who went to back to back uh final fours with the Fab Five. Jalen Rose, um Jimmy, uh Jimmy King, uh what's the other guy? Jalen Rose, Chris Weller, Jimmy King, uh Ray Jackson, and Jawan Howard. I know the whole five. I give you some history on here. Them boys was good. They showed out. Okay, you gotta watch the team, for I feel you. Hey, I, it's a lot of teams. That's the thing about Marsh Madness, though. That's what I'm saying. Um, you get teams that let me drop this knowledge. You get teams that don't get exposure, man. They don't get exposure. You don't see them play during the year because they're not on the big landscape, the big market. And what happens in turn? These teams come out hungry. You know, they got a lot of veteran leadership, guys that have stayed three, four years. Um, they get against these big teams, they got a chip on their shoulder. So they feel like they got a lot to prove. So they play these teams, man, they ain't got nothing to lose. All the hype is the pressure not on them. They come out playing loose, and they knock these teams off and make a name for themselves. Think about Steph Curry when he came through with Davidson, put Davidson on the map. It's been a lot of those situations. Because in March Madness, it's not like the NBA. It's one and done. One and done. If you don't bring your A game, man, you 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 out. Yes, sir, you out. That's good stuff. So you got to bring your A game. But uh, yeah, man, this is good stuff, man. You get this, you don't get this nowhere else. But like I said, I got I got things coming though. I got interviews coming. Um. Interviews coming with some high school athletes. Matter of fact, a couple college athletes. I'm going to sit down one-on-one -on -one with a couple coaches, too. Um, uh, Catawba Ridge coach, Dwayne uh, Ashley. Uh, I'm going to try to get Jamel Foster, Nation Ford. Uh, sit down. A um, couple more coaches I got in mind. Uh, definitely going to get Coach B. Ragsdale, who was just, who was just on here. Uh... Devontae Holloman, I want to do a sit-down with Devontae Holloman, uh, do a, a sit-down interview, uh, South Point Stallions, um, yeah, man, I'm going to get some of these guys on here, I'm going to get a lot of the players, I'm, and my shirts are coming soon, shirts are going to be coming soon where you can purchase, purchase these shirts, we're going to do, we're going to get this show so live, man, when we do prizes, do we do trivia, where you can win cash apps and all that, we, this is this is this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. So, so all right, support your own, man. Support your own. Spread the word. Support your own. We support each other. Uh, uh, everything will be good. All we gotta do is support our own. Yeah, and that, that's where it's at. That's where we at with it. Um, but uh, like I said though, March Madness is 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 probably, man. Probably the best thing going to me personally because I know it's one and done. If you don't bring your A game, you will be out. Uh, but uh, the NBA playoffs is we on our second half of the season right now with the uh, with the NBA. Uh, then we got free agency hitting with the NFL. So sports is hey, during the COVID time. Sports is thriving, man. Sports is really thriving during the uh, during the COVID. It's not stopping the sports. The sports is going strong. What y'all think about the teams playing in the bubble? Everybody playing in the same place like they did the NBA. Cause I heard that's how we doing it. We doing it for March Madness right now. But uh, yeah, that's that's how I heard we doing it. But will y'all give me y'all thoughts on that too? Oh yeah, there you go, bro. Yeah, see that was my, my, my brother be drop. Shout out to the Winthrop Eagles. Make it every year. Big South Tournament Champions. Not just Big South Tournament Champions. 
regular season champions. Bro, you be dropping knowledge. Coach Miller just dropped some knowledge on y'all. Uh, Winthrop, a lot of analysts are picking, picking Winthrop to uh, make a deep run. I see a run out of Winthrop like I see out of Davidson. Uh, that was real good, man. Winthrop, they, they only lost, what, one game this year? They big time, man. They for real. I do believe they're gonna they are they going to win some, a couple games. I I think I think I know one thing they there every year. They there every year. Uh, I think they can make, actually legitimately make some noise. It's gonna happen. I'm glad you brought that up. I'm glad you said that. What I like to see is Winter. Not getting off topic, but I, what I like to see is Winter get a football team. Rock Hill was really Rock Hill is really growing, man. Panthers building they, they they facility down there. Oh, it's ridiculous. But if Winter was to have a football team, man. Think of how great that would be to see Winter with a football program. Uh I think they can they can come up with the revenue, man, with the money to do it. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, can you say? Yeah, the you looking for the competition? Right, the competition. Yes, me too. I think it's a lot of parody. It's you you that's a very good point. Competition, that's why I said to me it's the best thing going. Even though I'm a football guy, I don't get it quick. I mean I like basketball, I like them both. Like one hand washes the other. You know, track guy. You no, know, I, I like it all. Baseball. I, I like baseball too. You know what I'm saying? But uh, March Madness separates itself because, like, I just I just gave my description of why. You got these teams hungry, man. That they ain't, they don't get the exposure, the national spotlight. So they're very competitive. They got good players that don't get the exposure. So when they do get a chance to compete, they gonna shine. But it is all about the competition. And I do think it would be good, but I don't think... So do you think Gonzaga would win it and go undefeated? Let me know what y'all think on that. Do you think we'll have an undefeated champion in Gonzaga this year? Because, I mean, that's very big, man. Gonzaga, I don't think a team has went undefeated in, in decades. And for they beat ranked teams too. They got three players that made first team All American. Let that sink in. Three players made first team All American. That's big time. Yes, that's big time, man. So, uh, what's up, my brother Tim? What's going on, bro? Got to get up, man. Welcome to the Welcome to Sports Talk Live with your boy Ricky G. We talking all sports on here. We talked a little basketball. What teams need? Great segment. We that led into football, free agency, NFL. Now we on the Mars Madness, college basketball. Uh. Best thing going, good man, good man. Just, just, just you know, hanging in there, doing my thing, trying to. I got shirts coming, bro. I got shirts for my show coming. Share this back. That support our own. I got some shirts coming. I'm gonna be doing trivia uh, a little later on. I'm gonna be having some interviews with coaches, players coming up. I got an event I'm gonna be at out at in uh, Rock Hill. Uh, some other places. I'm going to have some sit-down one-on-ones with some people. Um, Y'all can subscribe. Let me say this on here live, too. I'm trying to build my YouTube up. Subscribe to my YouTube. Mr. Slim Goody 38 But just, uh, you just look for Ricky Renard Greer on YouTube and subscribe. I will put the link up. Ricky Renard Greer or Mr. Slim Goody 38 YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube. 
I'm getting my followers up on YouTube so I can be doing this on YouTube too. Trying to take this this my sports podcast all out. Shout out to my man Malik Russell. Coach Russell doing his thing up in South Dakota. Coaching with the girls organization. They tried to put him in a box. Put him in a... He broke down barriers. Uh, 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 hey, man. You know, as a shout out. We I also coached with him. Did a lot of things with him. Great motivator. Know how to make kids better. We will say that. Uh, we don't have enough guys in place that's good that work with the youth because a lot of coaches are just out here for self. Uh, don't teach the fundamentals in the game the right way. I uh, don't really care about the kids. Shout out to Coach Russell. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm, I appreciate everybody tuning in. Tuning in, making this show what it is. I Sports Talk Live with your boy Ricky G because we done covered it all. Football, basketball, we talked free agency, NFL, just started today. We talked NBA, we we on the March Madness now. March Madness getting started. Man, COVID can't stop the sports. God's grace. Y'all make sure y'all share this back and y'all cop my shirts. My shirt, Sports Talk Live with Ricky G. I have it on display for you, but shirts coming. A lot of trivia will be coming. Uh, we're going to be doing some things, man. We're going to be doing some things out here. That's support our own for once. I support all all things, you know. I support all things. A lot of our, we were just talking about our black coaches of how um, they're breaking down barriers. We need more in place. Shout out to Coach uh, Jawan Howard at Michigan. Shout out um, Coach of the Year, uh, Patrick Ewan, legend, Georgetown. Uh, man, this is a lovely thing, man. Charlotte Horn, what y'all think about them Charlotte Horns? The buzz is back, man. It's a lovely thing. The buzz is back in Charlotte. The buzz is back like the Larry Johnson days and the Kendall Gill days and Alonzo Mourning, them, Dale Curry, Muggsy Bogue days. We back out here, man. We back. The hive, it's a buzz in the hive. The city, it's a buzz in the city. It's a buzz out here in the city. LaMelo Ball, rookie of the year. YouTube channel, bro. I'm gonna put it up. Uh, I think Mr. Slim Goody 38. Oh, uh, yes, sir, bro. You already know. Mr. Slim Goody 38 or either um I don't be knowing the link. All right, just look up Ricky Renard Greer. I got to get the YouTube, you know, YouTube going. I uh, got my my partner, Coach Miller, be helping me out too with the show, man. We're gonna be out interviewing people with me. We're going to be doing it big, man, bringing it to you live. Uh, but like I say, support our own. I, I appreciate the love of support because I support everybody. You can see I support all kind of businesses. Look out for my music, too. I'm going to get that plug. I know this is my sports show. Look out for my music. The plug is coming. I, K Meadows, speaking of the music, bro, I got your stuff. I'm I'm working on it. I got some stuff for you, though. Uh, I got a new song I might need you to mix down for me, bro. Uh the song is fire. Everybody, I leaked it to a couple people, but I'm going to put it out where I can get paid off of it. I, I really not put it down, put it out yet because I, I, I got to get the right mixes and levels on it. But it's, it's really, I got two two young artists I'm featuring on there uh, that, uh, that's nice. But but uh, be on the lookout for it, though. Be on the lookout for my new single coming in a week or two. That's what I'm saying. I don't see nobody beating Gonzaga either. But right, there you go. We're on the same page. Anything can happen in March Madness. Teams, the team that you lead, it's always upsets. That's why you can never go all chalk on your bracket. That's the wrong, that's what people want to do. That's the wrong thing to do. Because upsets is always happening. It happens every year. And I know for a fact, I got distracted right there. I'm sorry about that. I was reading, but I know for a fact, um, I I can I, I can really, well, nothing is guaranteed, but I wouldn't be surprised if um, you know, uh, a couple teams make the final four. 
You, you feel me, coach? You feel me, bro? A couple teams make the Final Four out of nowhere that you ain't heard of. Small schools. I wouldn't be surprised if, if that happens. And uh, that that's a fact, though. Yep. Shout out to South Point Stallions for winning the state championship down in Rock Hill. South Point Stallions won the championship. 4A basketball. You know they're a powerhouse football. Uh, I think they got like four state titles. Uh, but shout out to South Point Stallions on the basketball. Hopefully I get a couple of those guys on here interview to talk about it. But uh, shout out to South Point Stallions. I always shout out my school, North Mecklenburg Vikings. Powerhouse, man. You already know. Oh, yeah, the girls are power in basketball for South Point. I always have been right. Very good point. My daughter would be there working on her game right now. Skip this year, which I don't understand. But uh, ninth grade next year, Jada Grill. Watch out for Jada Grill in that basketball court. We coming. We got to get in that training this summer going on. Oh, girls college ball. Okay. Yes, sir. Girls college ball. I'm on that, too. I feel out brackets on that. But I, I think... Uh, I'm going to throw some teams out at you right here, right quick. Louisville, ACC put more teams. I'm going to drop more knowledge on y'all. Don't get nowhere else. The ACC fielded more college teams than any other league in the nation. Let that sink in. The ACC women fielded more college teams. They place more college teams in the tournament than any other conference. Uh, Louisville, Georgia Tech, Wake Forest, NC State, who won the conference, um, Boston College, uh, North Carolina Tar Heels back, and Florida State. I believe I hit them all on the head. Let that sink in. Another plug I'm finna get shout out. Shout out to uh, Team Charlotte. Team Charlotte, class of 2025. My cousin coached that. They finished fourth in Alabama over the weekend. They went to Alabama, finished fourth against the one of the heaviest competitions in the, in the nation. Number one team was in the tournament. Um, they finished fourth in pool play, which is big. Team Charlotte 2025. He got some boys on that team, man. You're going to hear about it in high school next year. Couple six, four, six, five, eighth graders. I'm talking about dunking off vertical. Coach Johnny Grill, my man, they've been coaching a while. Coach Joe, we call him Skeet. They coach together teams 2025. 20, uh, uh, that's some more knowledge I'm dropping on y'all. Uh, those guys, hopefully, I get an a, a interview with my own cousin. I, I'll be able to sit down with him or Coach Joe, uh, get a couple of their players on here uh, live with my playback. I got things coming for you, though. Um, it, 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 like I say, it's all good, though. I'm sitting down with a lot of guys. Uh, man, I got some stuff coming. The shirts, like I say, the shirts are on the way. Yes, sir, the shirts are on the way. Uh, it's been a blessing on this show, ma'am. Well, I'm, I'm going to throw this tidbit out here. Every week, I done set my time frame. Every week, I will be going Tuesdays and Thursdays. Starting off, every Tuesdays and Thursdays of the week, the show will be broadcast. Every Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I will be back at it again Thursday night. Grace of God, God's willing. I'll be back Thursday night on here. Uh, Sports Talk Live with your boy Ricky G. I'll be back on here Thursday night. Uh, it's going to be 8 o'clock Thursday night, man. 8 o'clock Thursday night. Spread the word. Spread the word. Share the show. Playback is always real. It's always real on here, man. You know how we do. Everybody stay encouraged and stay blessed, man. Keep your comments coming. Stay positive with a, with a positive mindset. Uh, mind over matter. If you, if you believe it, if you believe it, you can and will achieve it. If you believe it, you can and you will achieve it. It starts in the mind with the thought process first. Uh, got some great things coming, man. Got some great things coming, man. Yeah, but like I say, tune in Thursday night, man. It's real. 
You found it, bro. Okay, yeah, subscribe, man. Get some more people to subscribe, bro. Hey, bro, get some more. Uh, click up on it. I think up at the top on the red but on the red bar, and subscribe to the to my YouTube channel. Uh, we making some things happen. Yes, sir, bro. Yes, sir. Um, eight o'clock Thursday is going down. There's some big things in the work, man. Support your own. Make sure we support each other and support our own, man, out here. We can do big things. Peace, love, and happiness, man. I'm out. Everybody be blessed. Until Thursday night, you been it's been real with your boy Ricky G, Sports Talk Live.